Hello and welcome to the video. As you can tell by the title of the video, I want to give you five tips to help boost your fertility. Polycystic ovarian syndrome (PCOS) is a common endocrine disorder affecting five to ten percent of women of a reproductive age, and it is the leading cause of infertility in women. There is no cure for PCOS. However, there are certain dietary and lifestyle changes that can be implemented to help with fertility and pregnancy rates. Tip number one to help boost fertility is weight loss. Studies show that women who are overweight and also suffer from polycystic ovarian syndrome improve their chances of becoming pregnant through losing weight. A randomized study of 149 overweight women who also suffer from polycystic ovarian syndrome were randomly allocated to three groups. Group number one, the birth control group. Group number two, lifestyle intervention group. And group number three, a combination of both. The study found that among the 49 women in the birth control group, only five gave birth. Of the 50 women in the lifestyle intervention group, 13 gave birth. And finally, 12 of the 50 women in the combination group delivered babies. In addition, the results found that women assigned to the combination group, which was the lifestyle intervention and the birth control, showed that they were more likely to ovulate over the women who just took the birth control pill. Along with the improvements in pregnancy rates, the women in the lifestyle intervention group also improved their insulin levels and their triglyceride levels, which are two health risk factors in women with PCOS. A second study in which participants undertook an at-home workout over a three-month period showed that the women lost an average of 8.2 kilograms and five out of the 21 anovulatory women resumed spontaneous ovulation and nine had the reduction in cyst size which was confirmed by the ultrasound. Weight loss can help restore hormone balance through lowering insulin levels and stopping the ovary from producing too many androgens. Tip number two, consume more vegetable protein over animal protein. A study found that women who consumed 5% of their energy intake from vegetable protein instead of animal protein was associated with more than 50% lower risk of ovulatory infertility. Tip number three, slow carbs, not no carbs. Carbohydrates is a macronutrient that we all turn to for comfort, taste and energy. However, in recent years, carbohydrates have come under fire by diets such as the Atkins telling us that carbs are bad and that we should avoid them. As a result of all the questions, scientists undertook research to understand the role of carbohydrates in our diet. Low carb diets were compared to low fat diets to examine the effect on our weight and weight loss. The outcomes led us to find out that different types of carbs have different effects on our health. The Nurses Health Study found that a high carbohydrate diet was linked to ovulatory infertility. The results showed that women who consumed the high level of carbohydrates were at 78% risk of ovulatory infertility. In addition, the study found that consuming vegetable protein was associated with a 43% lower risk. More specifically, it's not a high carb diet that affects ovulation, it's the fast digesting carbs such as white breads, white rice. Easily digested carbs have a high glycemic load resulting in your blood sugar levels to rise and your insulin level to spike. Women in the high glycemic load category were 92% more likely to have had ovulatory infertility over the ones in the low glycemic category. Therefore, it's not about how many carbs you eat, it's about what types of carbs you eat that affect fertility. Tip number four, supplement with vitamin E and zinc. A study found that supplementing with vitamin E can increase the thickness of the endometrium. The, the results showed that 52% of patients developed an endometrium of more than 8 millimeters, and 20% of the patients conceived by taking vitamin E supplements. Zinc has been found to be a key factor in helping the reproductive system. It helps with egg production, maintaining proper follicular fluid levels, and hormone regulation. Tip number five, steer clear of pesticides. Pesticides are used in agriculture and public health to control weeds, animals, and vectors of disease. In several studies indicating the effects of pesticides on female and male fertility. The female reproductive system is dependent on a healthy hormone balance and pesticides are a known endocrine disruptor. Research has found 
that glyphosate blocks the enzyme aromatase, which is meant to aid in the androgen to estrogen conversion, in turn resulting in excess androgen. The Yale School of Medicine found that the chemical MXC may interfere with the development and function of the reproductive tract, leading to reduced fertility in women. The study found that the chemical can mimic the actions of hormones and in some instances interfere with endocrine function. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe for more videos.